So the reason for putting this video together is a technician that attended some training was struggling to interpret um, method for Tesla. So we're going to do this little quick run through on how to interpret this method. So it's got all the different methods on there for the Model X, the Model 3, and it's recommending you use a Positector 200 Plus, which Cornerstone, Cornerstone are a stockist of. So you put Cornerstone into your search, so cornerstonetechnologies.co.uk, into your search, and go to News. If you go to News and scroll down, there's a few articles on there. And the one you want to look for is now is the time for a safe standard. This has got information on here on how to use the gauge, why you need to use the gauge. Um, we want to also sort of give some credit to Tesla because Tesla's method is fairly easy to interpret. There are a few other manufacturers that make the method so complex that people tend to renew the part when often the case is it's not, it's not required to renew. So you can see the Positec 200. Uh, here's your free training guide. So we've made it simple by saying repair. It's easy to remember repair. So research methods, eliminate bad practice, paint thickness, you need to know how to measure it, ADAS, insist on proof of repair procedures and reliable repeatable process. There's a full report. So if you click that, it will take you through to, to this page. There's a PDF which you can download and you can keep. You can have that for your records. And it's all about measuring paint thickness with the ultrasonic positector. Lots of manufacturers are saying you must measure the paint thickness but they're not giving you the information of how to, why you need to. And here it spells it out in black and white so you can actually understand it in lay terms. So I hope you've enjoyed this free run through of the Positector. Credit to Tesla because their method is, is, in my opinion, straightforward. This is giving you the info on the Positector 200B Advanced. It will measure multiple layers. Coating one will come up on the gauge. I'll have a quick look at that at the moment, what the gauge will look like. Coating one obviously will be your clear coat. Coating two, base coat. full information on how to measure. I'm going to put the links in the description for you to be able to find this document as well. And it's all about promoting good practice in the industry. We do a two day advanced plastic repair course where this is covered. Um, you One of the tasks is actually to use the gauge accurately during your training session. Tesla's disclaimer says you must be fully trained to work on their vehicles. We can't be clear enough about that. Here you can see the Model 3 location of radar. And the Model S radar location. 
And finally, the Model X radar location. So I hope this has been useful. I'll see you again on the next video.